Okay, so this is going to be a really quick video about PDF signing. I've done a few videos before about this, and this is going to be the last one. This kind of puts all of those videos together. And this video is going to tell you how to implement this in infrastructure. So I'm going to focus on AWS, but if you have Google Cloud or Azure, you can kind of use these same principles to do that as well. Before I continue, I'm going to apologize in advance for my bad audio. I'm moving house, and so I don't have my microphone. It's packed up somewhere in storage. So I'm using the microphone that comes with my headphones. But without further ado, let's go ahead. So a lot of this guide that I've put together, sorry, this diagram, comes from this article. And I'll put this link in the description. And basically, a company called Sleek, who are using Google Cloud to sign PDFs. So I've used their example to put my diagram together. What I'm also going to say is that I haven't actually implemented this solution before. This is a solution that's come about from research, but I haven't actually implemented this myself. So keep that in mind. Okay, so the way this works is there are some key AWS services that are in use. One is the key management system, KMS. The second is the hardware security model. And this is kind of the crux of it. This is where the secrets are stored, the most important things are stored, because it's difficult for a hacker to get into this. And in these green kind of boxes, I've put Lambda or Fargates or EC2, but these are just basically web servers that do kind of backend things. This is S3, essentially for storage, and this is where the certificate will go. Now I've got a key here. So the blue circle is for steps that will happen once, maybe twice a year. These won't happen that often. And for the white circle or, or the white boxes, these are steps that will happen each time a document needs to be signed. Okay, so first thing that needs to be done is to use the key management system or service to generate some public and private keys. This is going to be used for signing your document. Both these keys are stored in here because you don't want anyone to have access to them. You only want to use them through API requests or calls that you manually make to your HSM. You then use the public key from here to generate a CSR or certificate signing request. What this is, is you making an API request or a call to the certificate authority. And once they approve your request, then they'll give you a certificate. Certificates tend to expire after the year, maybe half a year. So that's how often this process will need to run. Whenever a new certificate is required, steps one to five, so these five are run. Once the authority approves your request, then they'll give you a certificate, which can be stored in an S3 bucket. Now, to be honest, this step should go from here to here because you don't want to give the CA direct access to your S3 bucket. You want them to send it to somewhere like a, um, a server or an API request, and then that will put it in your S3 bucket. Or they could email it to you and you can manually put it in your S3 bucket. Either way, as long as it's here in the S3 bucket, it's pretty much secure. So those are the steps for getting the certificate. Now, how about signing? So if you want to sign a document, say you or a user, you upload your file into your server, which can be Lambda, Fargate, ECC, whatever. Then what happens here is you need to create a digest. So this will be like a minified photocopy of your PDF in code. Then what happens is that will get encrypted with the private key that you generated here. That can be done in code. If you're not sure how to do it, please go ahead and watch my previous videos. Then once that's done, the certificate can be added to the digest and then that can be put back into the PDF, which is essentially signing it. And that's essentially it. That is how you can use cloud services to sign a PDF programmatically. If you've enjoyed this whole mini PDF signing series, then please go ahead and subscribe, like this video so more people can find it. And once again, I'm gonna link the image and this article in the description so that you can read it at your own leisure. Thanks for watching.